any question, and I, I ask our CFO, is that interesting for you? I asked him yesterday. Is that interesting to you? I, uh, you answer, you ask me any question with regards to SAP data. Only prerequisite is you can only ask questions where I have the data. We have the data in the database. And I give the answer back to you in less than a second. Actually, the data volume of SAP, if, if we want to have a more sportive bed, I say less than 100 milliseconds. This is how fast our two days computers can be when the layers of, us, of abstractions are being removed. And therefore, when we do a little test how we call our SQL, we can go from SQL star, SQL plus plus, SQL cube, SQL beans, joke was not understood. The friends of Sun and Oracle should have understood the joke. We will not call it SQL beans, uh, so we have to find a name. We got this SQL. I got a promise from SAP. SAP will productize the SQL. Um, thanks very much. And we'll soon make announcement when this will be available. And then this, what we showed here, can be done on top of the w, BW next to um, the, the Business Explorer next to Excelsior's Excel and all the other products you might have already bought which have an SQL, SQL interface. And there are plenty of those out here. I went through the exhibition yesterday, and they're all out there. Unfortunately, we have to tell them their nice little staging engine underneath, how they achieve performance is not necessary anymore. We take that job. We give them the data in a nicely accumulated, nicely aggregated, structured form within less than one second. So this is my, my vision of the future. This is how we should work together. Somebody asks a question, head of sales says, might be possible, I need more people. No, there is no people, says the CFO. There is no money. Uh, but we have to do it. How can they do it? They have to go in a planning mode. We will build a planning system in the same fashion. I got the yes vote by a very prominent colleague of yours, a company, uh, that we start now because they worked with the, um, with the BW, the BW Accelerator, and the Business Explorer for quite some time. They were a pilot customer. They know exactly what speed they can achieve. We, too, believe that we can change the world of planning. I hopefully, if I do the next Sapphire, if I get invited again as a professor, I hope that we can show in research, at least, that this here is becoming reality. We promised it, my good friend Ed Tobin from Colgate said, didn't you promise this 10 years ago? I probably misunderstood you. I went to my board and told them, we get now, when we have everything on SAP, every information at the fingertips. I probably said this. The fingertips are something between a minute and 20 minutes. The, the CEO is not waiting for 20 minutes. He says, OK, fine, show me when you, have, when you are done. Uh, by the way, next Wednesday, I have half an hour for you. That's the reality. Or call me while I'm traveling. Send me an email. They can sit together. And if they can sit together and get instant data, and I show you one sample of instant data now, which would have helped if we had had it, had had it last year. Let um, me show Yep. Let me show you. OK. <laughs> <laughs> I love this screen so much that I could continue to talk about it. Well, you talk about it, and I'll be your demo boy, Hasso. No. Uh, we go to pipeline reporting. Everybody has a pipeline. Uh, our CRM system has a pipeline. We took our CRM system, our pipeline, and changed it from last entry per project, per customer sales project, to a insert only mode. So we took all changes and fit them in, so we have a continuous development of all projects, of all sales projects of a certain time. We changed the data, changed the time, so, but the principle is still there. This is how, in the beginning of March 09, the prognosis is how sales will develop 
over the quarter. The lower line is the 80% probability line. The upper line is the 20% probability line. And mean is somewhere in the middle. This is the potential. So hope is, uh, at the, we took away the numbers, hope is the upper right corner, and uh, reality is more the lower, and probably real rea reality can be even outside. Normally it is more than 20%, so uh, more than the 80% line. It's a, it's a, there's a little bit uh, upside always in sales, if the salespeople are willing to give this away and not, not sandbag, but <laughs> I was in a company once where sandbagging was absolutely necessary to achieve good numbers as a salesperson, so that was a different story. So now we start with the, the, the actuals are coming in. Stop. And every point, there's, there's, we're going through the 90 days. By the way, every time he hops one day forward, we go through a database of two million records again and read the database. Every again and again and again, and recalculate the prognosis. So the prognosis, end of uh, March, is going higher. So you see it's, it's going through the roof. So people are smiling. We will look good. Let's go ahead. Oh, halt, stop. They don't smile that much anymore. They have a normal face. Um, and we go a little bit further to the right. Shit, this is not good. <laughs> A little bit more. And there it stops. And you know why it stops? This is the day where Lehman Brothers crashed. One day later, there is no blue anymore. Everybody called in that day, uh-uh, not this quarter, and probably not next quarter, and some said never. Even worse, some said, I unfortunately signed a contract, sue me, but I will never pay. I'm done. Famous companies. A very sad story what happened, but as an IT person, if we go back, and if the data, if we had the real data, the real, real data, we could have seen seven to nine days earlier it's happening. The probability that this is happening seven to nine days earlier. Like all of you, we do first forecast, second forecast, third forecast, percentage deviation, absolute deviation. I believe our brain is used to work with curves. Everybody, every boy, I think the girls can do it as well, but they don't do it, but every boy learns to use a bow and there's a bird and boom, shoot the arrow. And when you're four, you miss, when you're five, you're close, and when you're six, you can do it. So that's how the brain works, boom. And later, when we go to school, we learn what is the math and the physics behind, of that, behind that. If we see curves, moving curves, there's a famous professor, I always forget his name, who shows our social developments in bubbles and how the bubbles move in life in, as a, with speed, how our population, uh, waste, uh, pollution, and so on is, is, is happening in the world. And he does this in life scenarios. He's somewhere from the East Coast here. Um, this is the future of data processing. Live animation of millions and millions of records. So just take this as one fantasy. Just take another fantasy. You take the Business Object Explorer. It's not yet made for it, but I look at Jim Snabe who can make it happen. You use it in personnel management. Write down any question you ever want to ask a personnel system of the, the statistics, any statistic. Uh, what is the age distribution in Brazil, China, Germany as comparison in the US? What is the academic education, da 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 da, da. What, Whatever classification we can think of, and we can build a business object explorer, and it's just one click and the information is there. 